Tonight we are getting our first look at the Buffalo police officer who allegedly overdosed on heroin for the second time this year. This is suspended officer Michael Moffitt. Sources tell 7 Eyewitness News first responders used Narcan to revive him again on Tuesday morning. Sources also say he was found passed out on a couch and his girlfriend woke up and found him unresponsive. Now addiction specialists in our area say they are not surprised by the officer's alleged overdose. As 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui tells us addiction knows no bounds. Drug addiction specialists will tell you the problem is everywhere, affecting nearly everyone. The face of addiction changed a long time ago. It's professionals, it's teachers, it's lawyers, it's, it's police, it's, it's attorneys, it's all those professional people. That's why Paige Prentice isn't shocked to hear about Buffalo Police Officer Michael Moffitt. Prentice is the operations vice president for Horizon Corporations. The nonprofit offers a variety of services for those fighting substance abuse. Our program at Horizon Village, it looks like a camp, a college campus. That's what it looks like. You, you look around and be like, well, where are we? Is this a college campus? Is this a private school? I don't understand. No, is this a rehab facility? Prentice says the problem with opioids and heroin alike is that they're easily accessible and inexpensive. But she says there are solutions. There is a job for enforcement. We, we do need law officials to do what they need to do to reduce um, the availability of the substances. She'd also like to see pain doctors and prescriptions tracked closely. That includes patients who have access to methadone, a drug used to wean someone off heroin. Currently, there's nothing that shows whether a patient is simultaneously being prescribed opioids and receiving methadone treatments. Prentice believes those solutions would be steps in the right direction. Horizon does have a referral program for employers who believe their employee may be battling addiction. We're going to have the signs and symptoms of what you should look for, as well as more information on that referral program available on our website, WKBW.com. Reporting from Buffalo, Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.